This video explains how to calculate summary statistics for a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in the second code box using the data frame constructor. So in this case, I'm creating an example data frame, which is called data. And I'm also printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, our example data frame contains seven rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2 and group. So let's assume that we want to calculate the mean value of only one column in our data frame, or more precisely of the column x1. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this line of code, I'm using square brackets to subset our data frame. So in this case, I'm extracting the column x1. And then I'm specifying the mean function to calculate the average value of this column. So after running this line of code, a new output is returned, which shows the average of the first column. So in this case, 5.142. Similar to that, we can also calculate the mean value of all the numeric columns in our data frame, as you can see in the next line of code. So in order to do that, we have to apply the mean function to the entire data frame. And within the mean function, we need to specify the numeric only argument to be equal to true in order to only apply this function to the numeric columns in our data frame. So in this case, the columns x1 and x2. So after running this line of code, a new output is returned and this output shows the mean values for all the numeric columns in our data frame. So in this case, the mean of the column x1 is 5.142 and the mean value of the column x2 is 4.0. It's also possible to calculate multiple summary statistics as I will show you in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm using the describe function and I'm applying this function to our entire data frame. So as you can see, after running this line of code, a new output is created, which contains different summary statistics, such as the count, the mean value, the standard deviation, the minimum value, certain quantiles, and the maximum value of each numeric column in our data frame. It's also possible to use our group indicator in our input data frame to calculate certain summary statistics by group. So in this case, I will calculate the mean value by group. And for this, we first need to apply the group by function to our data frame. Within this function, we need to specify the group indicator in our data frame. So in this case, the column containing our groups is called group and then we need to apply the mean function to this output. So as you can see, after running this line of code, another output is returned, which shows the mean values for each of the numeric columns in our data set by group. So for instance, the mean value of the column X1 for the group A is 5.75. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.